Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath the waves of our vast oceans? Imagine if we could shrink down and swim alongside the colorful fish, sneak past sneaky squids, and wave at wiggly sea worms. While we can't shrink down, we can do the next best thing, dive into the thrilling world of ocean exploration. Join us as we sail the sea of knowledge and uncover the mysterious lives of marine creatures. It's a bit like being a detective, only wetter and wilder. Imagine opening a treasure chest, but instead of gold and jewels, it's bursting with creatures of all shapes, sizes and colours. That's a bit like diving into the ocean. From the tiny twinkling plankton that glitter like stars in the water, to the majestic whales that seem as big as a school bus, the ocean is a bustling metropolis of life. The ocean is like a layer cake made up of different zones, each with its own set of residents. Near the sunny surface, you'll find the splashy and bright shallow water zone, where colorful fish dart through the coral reefs like tiny, scaly race cars. Dive deeper and you enter the twilight zone, where light begins to fade and mysterious creatures like the fangtooth and viper fish lurk, glowing eerily to lure their next meal. And at the bottom, that's the deep sea zone, home to the weird and wonderful, like the blobfish, which looks a bit like a grumpy jelly. Each of these ocean dwellers plays a vital part in the underwater city. For example, tiny phytoplankton produce oxygen, just like trees do on land, and help us breathe. Meanwhile, larger animals like sea turtles act as the ocean's lawn mowers, munching on seagrass to keep it healthy and trim. Why should we care? You might be thinking, cool creatures, but why does this matter to me? Well, just like in your neighborhood, every critter in the ocean has a role that helps keep the environment healthy. And a healthy ocean means a healthy planet, for fish and humans alike. dive into a story, the tale of Tessie the Turtle. Let's follow a day in the life of Tessie the Turtle to see this ecosystem in action. Tessie wakes up under her cosy coral blanket and heads off for a breakfast of crunchy seagrass. As she nibbles away, she unknowingly helps the grass grow back even healthier. Throughout her day, Tessie encounters a cast of characters, a clownfish family weaving through anemone tentacles, a shy octopus camouflaging itself from predators, and a school of fish that moves like a cloud of silver in the sky. This bustling, vibrant underwater world is much like a city filled with life, stories, and a delicate balance that needs to be maintained. And just like Tessie and her friends, each of us has a part to play in keeping this world vibrant and thriving. First up, Let's talk about our breath. Yes, the air you just breathed in. Did you know that tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton produce more than half of the world's oxygen? That's right. Every second breath you take is thanks to these little guys. If the health of phytoplankton declines, it's not just the fish that will be holding their breaths. We will be too. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Our oceans and the life within them play a huge role in regulating the planet's climate. Marine plants and even some fish help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, a bit like how trees do on land. When the ocean's health declines, its ability to absorb carbon decreases, which can lead to warmer temperatures and more extreme weather. It's like if your city's air conditioning broke on the hottest day of the year. Not fun at all. And let's not forget about seafood. Many people around the world rely on fish and other marine creatures for their main source of protein. Healthy oceans mean healthy, plentiful fish. 
But when marine life suffers due to pollution or overfishing, it can be like going to your favourite pizza place only to find out they've run out of pizza. Let's shine some light on the deeper mysteries of the ocean, like bioluminescent creatures. These are animals that can glow in the dark, deep underwater, where sunlight can't reach. Scientists have discovered that the light from these creatures can be used in some cool ways, like tracking cancer cells in the human body, or lighting up the brain to study diseases like Alzheimer's. It's like these glowing sea creatures are tiny underwater superheroes helping us fight some of the biggest villains in human health. By protecting our oceans, we're not just saving fish and whales, we're saving our planet and ourselves. Every creature in the ocean is interconnected, and their health directly impacts ours. From the air we breathe, to the food we eat, and even to our medicine. So next time you think about the ocean, remember that it's not just water and waves. It's a vital part of our lives, making Earth a perfect home for all of us.